Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the free CodeCamp API and microservice certification. I just finished, uh, I guess, two days ago, and I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about it, what you can expect from it, my thoughts about it, is it worth your time, what you'll learn, what you won't learn, all the type of stuff in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Might I take a moment to recommend our long-term sponsor. Long-term, as in we've been working together for almost three years now, which is pretty crazy. And a lot of changes have happened at Dev Mountain. They've changed a couple locations in the past to now they're in the Lehigh area. They're also in Dallas and Phoenix. But if you're interested in considering a coding boot camp, might I recommend devmountain.com. They have programs in full-stack JavaScript, iOS development, QA, UI, UX. You can find out more information at devmountain.com. So let's talk about the certification for those who aren't familiar and just really dived in. What this certification is supposed to teach you is about APIs and microservices. And I personally feel like it does a mediocre job at, at both. Um, so why is that? Well, I don't know if it's based off of how well I thought their other certificates were. And this was almost an afterthought, or they wanted to make it easier, less content. Or I don't know if maybe I'm giving, maybe I'm, I'm expecting more out of free code camp or not. But what will you learn from this? Well, you'll learn the basics, the basics of Express and Node. And I always liked if you went into some of their other sections, like their front end library or responsive web design or other sections, that they went a lot deeper, a lot more content, a lot more to cover. Now, I what I what I think happened here. This is what I think happened is that this certificate is really designed to just introduce you to the very fundamentals as all of them are. And because there's not really any fundamentals in the sense of um, what this certificate was designed to do. This certificate is designed to introduce you to Node, introduce you to Express, introduce you to Mongoose, and in that virtue, MongoDB. Really, and when it comes to the MERN or MEAN or whatever they call the MEVN stack, the meme v <laughs> stack, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> this certificate is just to literally get your, your toes wet I don't think it necessarily, like one thing I really liked about the front end uh, and responsive and all, all the stuff that really, is that all those certs built upon each other, this one does not. This one really is just about giving you those entry level projects and that's okay. And this will introduce you to some of the stuff. This is the first certificate that I've actually thought that the 300 hours of coursework was um, really a little bit inflated like if maybe this was the first thing you ever do but by their own re by their own recommendations free code camp typically recommends that you go in order and if you've gone in order by the time you get to essentially just doing javascript in the back end which is really what's going on here um learning a simple package or library like mongoose and express should be relatively easily and one thing they change from the beta and I, I say this, uh, the beta, now now it's not even beta, but um, FreeCodeCamp obviously updated their curriculum a while back, and some of these projects were part of the back-end certification uh, back when that was a thing. But one thing that they changed since then, and I did the majority of these then, and I had to redo them because I had to keep my code real quick, is that they give you a lot of the starter code that you don't necessarily have. So like some of the things that I struggled through and gladly struggled through was figuring out how to create views and understanding what ex what Express was doing with that. And some of you may say like, oh, well, you don't need to struggle through that. I somewhat disagree. I, I kind of think when you're learning these things, struggling through it and understanding what pieces are what is part of the process. But with the um, repos that you can just go and clone, you sort of get all of that handed to you, which at the same time from, from some developers' perspectives makes sense because you're not here to really create a view. You're more so here to work on the APIs and microservices and it's much more fine-tuned. Um, we're not here to build a full stack app. We're here to simply build the service for an existing front end. In that case, that makes sense. Um, but like all of Free Code Camp, 
this is really a place to start. And I think it's something nice to put on your resume and that you could sell yourself and talk about. This will be going on my LinkedIn. It'll be going on my, my resume, um, even as an experienced dev, because it shows that I'm continuing to grow. I'm adding um, something to my uh, resume every single year, and it gives me something to talk about while I am interviewing. Now, where do I think they could have gone better? Um, where do I think they could have um, uh, done better? A couple things. Um, one, I understand that we're building microservices, uh, but the projects, in my opinion, are extremely too small. I think we could have gone much bigger with rather than just pulling out some metadata from a file. That to me was a lot. A lot of these projects, minus the um, the exercise track one, the exercise track one to me was the which is the the largest project of the five in my opinion, is the one that gives you more hands on than anything else. And so I, I think some of these projects could be increased in scope. But that may have been a deliberate decision by them as they saw like, hey, not that many people are doing our back insert and maybe we're overwhelming them. Let's bring it back a level. And that's understandable. I, I, at, as I'm giving this constructive criticism, one thing I want to make clear is my utmost respect for Free Code Camp. Free Code Camp is one of those items where <clears throat> I do think it has helped me become a better developer and it has helped me become a developer period. So I have a fondness for free code camp. So it pains me a little bit to talk about the, this certificate in a little bit of a negative light. But with that being said, it is going to introduce you to things like today. I had to explain to my girlfriend who doesn't want me talking about her and in the videos anymore, that <laughs> what a, a package manager was and what node was and, um, understanding what packages are and um, how to use yarn and so you're gonna get introduced to a lot of these items that you know sometimes it's you don't know what you don't know and I think it does what a basic course would do in any of these things now the projects and the depth of that content I think is lacking they even in their in their title put basic node and express introduction or something like that and that's what I would say it is it doesn't dive too deep you're not going to have, like, if you go to the JavaScript section, you get tons. Of, like, that is a fantastic JavaScript course. It's one of those courses where we dive into everything here, 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 here. There's very little that's not covered. I think there's quite a bit that could be covered in, in here. Um, I think a couple, a couple areas where what I would go into. One, I think when we're talking about APIs and microservices, we need to dive deep into standards, RESTful standards, and talk about how build them. Because nine times out of 10, as you're going and building these things, you need to know how to build them. And this is one of the items that I, I know a lot of developers I talk with uh, are always saying, how can I go from junior to senior? And a lot of it begins with just following standards and, and best practices and learning. So I think that it could use a section for that. I also think that we could dive a little deeper into express or we could even add an additional uh, framework there's a lot of new node frameworks everyone's got their favorite much like much like the front end side of the framework the back end side of the frameworks are changing although express is definitely the most popular so i'd recommend diving a little bit deeper in that but more than anything else i think the projects can be increased in scope to expand upon um, some of these more popular libraries, which kind of felt what they were like, what they were trying to do, where hey, let's just sprinkle in a slightly small little popular library in each of these. But because of that, it made the projects very, um, very tiny. Uh, and so I think what we need to do is take some of these, take some of these projects, kick out about three of them, and start or four of them. Start at the exercise track one and build upon that in terms of complexity. Maybe th kick out three and have one really get your toes wet type of project but it felt like four out of the five were get your toes wet type but like a four out of five of these in my opinion are the equivalent of a to-do application and i don't think that's i don't think that's something that's acceptable but with that with that being said it should always be a starting place when you are going and trying to impress um prospective employers what you're going to impress them with aren't these random quote generators or these tiny microservices it's going to be building real world things having it out there and you know building something that doesn't require a tutorial uh so at that maybe maybe the maybe their 
their opinion is get them just enough to get them wet and let then let them figure out on their own. But I think I think from the quality of the other certificate pro on on Free Code Camp and the other courses that this is the one that I've taken so far that can be improved upon. Now I haven't done the security and testing, but that is a, a goal of mine. I look forward to doing that. And I think I have two projects left on the React um, front end um, framework one, but. I do think that um, for the most part, this course will teach you some of the basics to get going in Node Express and Mongoose and MongoDB by that virtue. And that if you're looking for something to do that and you're just looking for something to get your feet wet and introduced to the back end, that this is a very, um, not low stress, but a very uh, low barrier of entry. And so it'll, it will um, communicate very well. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more challenging, what you may want to do is just blow through this real quick, get a little something on here, get a little something on your GitHub in your projects, and then go and dive into your own thing, which is what I would suggest anyhow. Uh, but that's sort of my thoughts. Kind of fun. Uh, I always like uh, doing free code camp stuff, so I'll uh, I'll be over the years slowly working on. It. I'm interested to see what they have coming out in the near future. If anything, I don't know what's what's going on with them, uh, with the content side of things. But I will say one thing that I really <laughs> this side of a minor thing is so I cloned all their five starter code repos, and they have about eight open pull requests on each one for minor fixes, such as like um, the git ignore file not accepting the node modules. So if anybody uh, I mean, I guess I could email Quincy or hit up Bo on, on the YouTube channels and tell him to get on it or um, give me access. But if some of you have run those repos, check your pull request to make the pull request uh, to make the the uh, starter repos easier and not have these tiny little errors in them. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in any of my courses, such as our bestseller 100 front end interview questions challenge, you can get them in the description for just $9.99. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys. Don't forget to hit that notification bell or smash that like button while you're at it. And if you're interested, I just released my latest course, the 100 Front End Technical Question Challenge, which is there to help you pass those front end technical interviews. There's over 100 questions. You can get it for just $9.99. The link is in the description below or use coupon code CODINGGOD.